Hello viewers, welcome back to the Secret Underground Bunker location. I'm your host, Cab Trooper Munoz, and I made a comment on another video where somebody was programming the Baofeng um, UV5R for the family radio network. And what I understood was that Baofeng UV5Rs were going to be banned from importation into the U.S. Um, possibly that's not the correct terminology. Possibly they were going to be modified before they were imported into the U.S. But I think the issue was that they could do the family radio network uh, channels and also the VHF UHF channels. And so on your left here, I had bought this Baofeng back in 2017. And this is the box it came with. And I also ordered a um, USB programming cable so I could use Chirp to program this radio. And I haven't done a lot with it, but I want to show you the buttons that it has and compare it to another Baofeng UV5R, which I had just purchased about a week ago. And all these Baofengs come with a uh, clip here, so you can clip it to your belt and a lanyard. And as you can see, I've already put those um, accessories on this Baofeng. And I've programmed the frequency in channel one for the family radio network. So you can see on this box on the left, there are some features advertised. It's a larger box, but it came with the same amount of accessories that this newly purchased Baofeng UV5R did. And for some reason, it doesn't have the same features listed for this Baofeng even though it appears to be exactly the same radio. Now, maybe somebody who's very familiar with these can tell me the difference, except for the antenna. Obviously, the antenna is a visual cue that these radios are, in fact, a little different. But other than that, let's take a look at this newly purchased Baofeng UV5R. And I bought this off Amazon, and when I did... I um, used the buy again link. So I didn't look this up from another vendor. I bought it from the same vendor I had purchased the previous one from. And again, here it comes with the uh, belt clip and the lanyard, which I have attached. It also comes with a charging base. Um, both these came with a charging base and a um, microphone that you can clip to your ear. That uh, seems pretty sturdy. I haven't used it, but I will this week. But if I set these kind of side by side, except for the antenna, you would not be able to tell them apart. So let me turn them on and you can see that uh, I've programmed uh, the first channel with the uh, family radio network. I believe that is the proper nomenclature. If it's not, let me know in the comments. I'm not an Elmer by any means, so uh, feel free to correct me. And here's another view of them side by side. And I'm going to turn them on and I'm going to have my son go make a radio call to me. 
uh, from somewhere else in the house. So hang on and uh, we'll do that right now. Okay, so as we can see, it's uh, already programmed and uh, I'm going to make a radio call to my son who's uh, at another location and we're going to verify that these work. Base, this is Rover 1, radio check, over. All right, so as you can see, um, these transmit just fine on the family radio service or family radio network. And I have, in fact, um, I've gone about a mile and a half from the house, and I know they transmit at that distance. I have not gone much farther than that. So uh, we'll give these a test. And also, in another video, I'll program these uh, with different frequencies with chirp uh, using the chirp cable but I want to make sure because I don't have my license that I'm not transmitting so uh, we'll just be listening to a channel and um, see if these operate in the same manner that the old Baofeng radios did. All right this is Cav Trooper Munoz with the Baofeng UV5R, a very popular and inexpensive um, VHF, UHF uh, receiver transmitter. I'm out.